you know, if, if we're sitting together live, I might ask some of you, what would you try now? Is there, is, are there things about this approach that you did or you didn't like? And maybe somebody in the room would say, why did you go through all of that nonsense? Doesn't at risk do it a little quicker? And that might be what that risk percentile question kind of is getting at. Um, I took a different tack on this. I'm gonna unhide some cells and show you another approach. This approach goes in and it uses a stat function that I'll be honest with you, I had never used until this morning when I was pulling all this together. The new stat function we're gonna use, and I gotta get, let me hide this section so we can kind of pull things back together. So we've still got the same basic information, still wanna do everything at the 80th percent, but instead of me going through the, the somewhat monotonous calculation of individual variances divided by their total and doing the allocating. Why don't I just tap into what at risk has already given me, which gets back into this right there. Contribution to variance is one of the sensitivity analysis um, tornado graphs. And over here, you can see the values a little easier to read. And you see the ranking one through nine of those. Well, there is a stat function called risk sensitivity and this is a pretty involved one i'd never used it before this morning like i said so so i had to go in and do a little research on it and here's what it re looks like the data source g12 well g12 is um the overall run okay so the output results out of g12 in other words this is not a theoretical thing this is from the simulation results it's taking a rank um, in cell Q3, and I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, the ranks are down this column, and it's doing analysis type four. And to know what that meant, I had to go in and kind of, kind of, um, before typing it in, it's, uh, it's, I had to, I had to go onto the Palisade website to tell you the truth by hitting help on this function. I pulled up the Palisade website, and risk sensitivity is right here. So pretty useful help and it got right to it. I read through it and, and learned how to, how to give the values in here. And one for regression, two for regression map, three for correlation, four for sequential contribution to variance. So that's the one I wanted. I wanted to use contribution to variance to kind of do a similar approach as before. So I asked for a analysis type four, and I asked it to give me a return value type six. And if you look down in the help, the, the, the short description here, it says that SCV fraction is what six is. SCV stands for sequential contribution to variance, which is the, the tornado diagram approach that, that it used in my run. So that's the setup I'm using. The one that had me thrown for a loop here, I figured these others out pretty quick, but I wasn't sure what it wanted for rank until I looked at the output again and noticed that the ranks are like the one through nine. So it's ranking them, it's, it's ranked them one through nine and carried that rank along with it. And, and I normally don't pay attention to that, that rank number. I mean, I can see what the order is and I concentrate more on the upper one, but because this stat function needed it, I needed a way of also identifying for each of these elements what their ranks were. So what I what I ended up having to do, and it worked in this case, but I'm not quite willing to say it will always work, is that the ranks of all of these, I treated as, and it's hidden now, but I treated it as just a ranking of the individual variances from the simulation results. In other words, the overall top the largest of the variances for the cost elements was avionics integration. So I put a one in there for rank and I did, and I you used an Excel function to do these. So I have the rankings one through nine there. And now my stat function has everything it needs to pull in from the simulation results. In this case, it's a system requirements 0.1374. I don't have to go sorting around or, or guess where it's going to show up in a report. There it is right there, system requirements 0.1374 or 13.74 as a, as a percentage. So I found a function that taps into what is given in this report. There it is for all nine of them. I needed the ranks to do that. Those percentage contributions, just as a check, sum to one. So what I've done is taken those proportions 
and multiplied those by over in here, multiplied the proportions by the amount that's in contingency reserve. And I have a different a, a dollar amount now to allocate for each. Put these together, the most likely sum to the uh, allocation amount. You can see that I've done that. And this approach also it needed to sums to the 165.6 million. And then you can see over here, I've done the budget percentage again. So I have it hidden right now, but your obvious question is going to be how similar were these?